What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So this is Xiaomi's Poco X3 NFC. It's a brand new budget smartphone priced under 200 pounds. And for that price, it's really quite amazing that this has a 120 hertz refresh rate, Snapdragon chipset, NFC, audio jack, quad cameras, stereo speakers, and the list goes on. So super bang for your buck, even before opening the box. Black and yellow, Poco colors. We've got this boxed envelope with a SIM eject tool and a clear silicone case to get you started. Here's the smartphone. Let's put it onto the side and see what else you get in the box. Here's your 33 watt USB fast charger. So not USB-C, it's a standard USB-A fast charger. Interesting. And we have a USB-C charging cable. And here is the smartphone itself. Now check out that design. Phone body made from plastic with a nano coating. And I really do like this effect going on. Poco logo at the bottom. And this color is called Cobalt Blue. Now on the front, we have a 6.67 inch IPS LCD display with 120 Hertz refresh rate and a screen resolution of 1080 by 2400. So that's a full HD plus display with 395 pixels per inch. And the brightness is also pretty good. You've got 450 nits brightness. Furthermore, this smartphone is only 9.4 millimeters in thickness and weighs 215 grams. It's powered by the Snapdragon 732 octa-core clocked at 2.3 gigahertz combined with the Adreno 618. Now gaming performance is actually pretty good. You can play Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG on medium to high graphical settings and gameplay is nice and smooth. You also got liquid cooling so you can game for extended hours with no issues. Now this model here has six gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Now at the bottom you have a headphone jack, type C port, single microphone and a single speaker. Now on this side we have a fingerprint sensor and a power button in one and it does a pretty decent job at unlocking the smartphone fast and accurate every single time. And just above it you have your volume rocker. Buttons are made from plastic but they don't wobble around. They feel pretty nice to the touch. Now at the top of the smartphone you have a microphone, an infrared sensor and another loudspeaker on the earpiece. So you do have dual Smart PA stereo speakers supporting high-res audio. So we will test that out very shortly. And on the other side, we have our SIM card tray. It's a dual hybrid SIM card tray, so it can take dual nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and one micro SD card up to 256 gigs. So pretty decent expansion. Now on the back, we've got an impressive quad camera setup with a 64 megapixel primary sensor and that's the Sony IMAX 682. You've got a 13 megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel depth sensor, and a two megapixel macro lens. And on the front, we have a 20 megapixel selfie camera, and it is a centered hole punch camera. So a quick look at the camera app. We've got pro mode, video. So here are your resolutions at the top for video mode. We've got 4K at 30 frames per second max. And you can see we've got image stabilization on. Now we've got photo mode portrait mode, more, and we have a whole bunch of features under more. And I'm specifically interested in the night mode and the 64 megapixel mode. So let's just check out the 64 megapixel. So 64 megapixel ultra HD is now on. So you can go ahead and snap a 64 megapixel shot in seconds. So good shutter speed as well. And here are a few more 64 megapixel shots taken outdoors with a steadier hand this time. And you can see how detailed these shots look. You do have options for HDR, AI, filters, and lots more. So you do have a pretty feature packed camera system. So let's go ahead and check out a few samples. So quick video sample, 4K at 30 frames per second with image stabilization on. Video looks quite stable and detailed, although the color looks slightly oversaturated. Now you can fix this in post-production directly on the smartphone. And thereafter, the finished result is actually not bad. So front facing camera test and we're also checking out the audio so you can hear which one sounds better. And the front-facing camera does produce decent quality full HD video footage. 
So let's check out some of the features. You've got Game Turbo, Video Toolbox, Floating Window and Second Space. So Game Turbo is self-explanatory. You can add a game and it will give that game a boost. Video Toolbox, so you can have special effects and features for video playback. You can have shortcuts, location, left, and you can manage video apps. So that's your video toolbox. You've got a floating window. So that's your floating window effect. You've got second space. It just gives you a second secure area to log into. So that's some of the special features of this smartphone. Okay, so you've got MIUI 12.0.1. So MIUI feels smooth and fast, and that 120 hertz display is absolutely amazing. Um, I have no idea how Xiaomi is able to give us such a beautiful display for such a low price. So just going to quickly check out the sounds. You've got dual stereo speakers. So that was my quick overview of the Poco X3 NFC and my initial thoughts, you're getting a very good performance, great looking design and many premium features for an extremely low price. In fact, the Poco X3 has a similar performance to the Google Pixel 4a, which is priced much higher than this smartphone. You are getting similar specs, but in my opinion, Poco has the slight edge over the Pixel, giving you a 120Hz display, lots of cameras to play with, bigger battery, faster charging, dual SIM 4G, a micro SD card slot, NFC, and if all of that was not enough, you're also getting IP53 splash proof rating. And the price is ridiculously low, it's the absolute icing on the cake at only 181 pounds or 229 US dollars. This price was actually too hard to believe and when the phone finally arrived, the features and performance equally blew my mind. The Poco X3 NFC offers the best value we have seen in a smartphone this year. Consider this a mid-range performing device at a low budget price. And if you want a follow up review or a camera comparison with the Google Pixel 4a, then do let me know in the comments and also smash that like button. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.